Uh, well, in case you missed the action from yesterday, Joy News was there the moment Koku Anidoho was arrested. In fact, my colleague Joseph Akable had just finished speaking to him on the sidelines of a press conference where opposition political parties had held, uh, had gathered to declare support for today's demonstration. Mr. Anidoho was the MC for the press conference that was taking place at the press center to announce the decision by his party to join other groups to stage a protest. I engaged him shortly after the event on whether he thinks his comments about a possible coup was appropriate. This is a press conference on tomorrow's activity. You want to talk about that? We'll talk about that. Don't come and waste my time with useless questions. Go we'll listen to the clip again. He was shortly after accosted by the CID officers. What exactly are they saying? What's the issue? What have they told you? What I don't know. They said I've been. I don't know what the, what the charge is. Is it, is it an invitation or arrest? Let me. Let me. Are you doing anything? No, no, no. no, 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 no. If he has been arrested, then she was an arrest warrant. Yeah, the refusal by Mr. Anidoho, aided by party supporters, led the officers to lock the main gate of the press center. So what is happening here at the press center is that you have some officers from the CID. So this is one of them, uh, the gentleman just in the jeans and the blue top. Uh, they are trying to block the exit here because uh, they have simply refused to move with them. We have some a vehicle just arriving here. It uh, has the inscription operation, calm life. The officers have just arrived. They are simply saying that he is under arrest and there is no way they are going to allow him to leave the premises of the press center. So this is the police vehicle here. You can see GP4649. Uh, so come this way. You have over here the police officers, increased police presence here now at the International Press Center. The party is simply saying they want to see that arrest warrant. The arrest warrant is not available, but we have been told that uh, they are not going to allow him live here. We heard Mr. Mona say that they intend to go over uh, to uh, the office of the CID to hand over. I'm getting a bit closer uh, to the vehicle where Mr. He is in. Come, come closer. Let's get a word from the party uh, quickly. Uh, Chairman Portofi is here. Uh, excuse me, sir, quickly. I just want to pick. Quickly. It's not right. It's not right. We are, we are in a press conference and then the, the policeman arrived. They said they are, are, are arresting the general secretary of our party. How can they do that? It's not right. But they cannot scare anybody. That one that you know. That's why I said I'm taking you there. Let's go. So you are going with him right now? To yes, the to the headquarters. And then what, what next? We will go and listen to them. They said they want him. Yes, he works. So, don't worry, we'll go. So, is he under arrest? What, what is the situation? Is he under arrest? So, is he under arrest? And bro, we are not ready to talk to you. We are doing our work. Let's continue. Yes, the work we want to know about what exactly you are doing now. Mr. Anidoho was then led out of the press center. He was accompanied by NDC General Secretary Johnson Esied in Ketia and PNC Chairman Bernard Mona. Continuous here, heading towards the CID headquarters. Mr. Kokwanjido has been accompanied by members of the National Democratic Congress. So this is the situation here on the streets leading to the CID headquarters. Okay. <laughs> On arrival at the police headquarters, he was led in by the officers. NDC General Secretary John Sinesio Dinketi and later Chairman Kofi Portofi also made their way into the CID office. Those who had accompanied him for the press center had no intentions of moving an inch. <laughs> Come on, 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 come on,